Pathos Source World Presents Crystallization of Copper Sulfate Chemicals Required Copper Sulfate and Dilute Sulfuric Acid Apparatus Required A Test Tube A Beaker A Pair of Tongs A China Dish A Watch Glass A Filtering Setup And A Heating Setup At first, we add few grams of copper sulfate powder in about 20 ms of water in a beaker. Then, we stir the solution with a glass rod to get clear copper sulfate solution. The insoluble impurities remains undissolved. After that, one test tube of dilute sulfuric acid is added to the solution to prevent hydrolysis of the copper sulfate solution. The solution is stirred again for a while. The solution is then filtered through a filtration setup. The impurities remain on the filter paper as a residue. Then the china dish is kept over a flame till the solution starts boiling. When the super saturated solution is nearly heated to dryness, a glass rod is dipped inside the solution to check the progress of crystallization process. When some crystals are found to get stuck on the glass rod, the heating is stopped. This stage is known as crystallization point. The dish is taken out and placed over a 500 ml beaker filled with water for cooling. The crystal so copper sulfate begins to separate out from the solution or the mother liquor. The blue crystals of copper sulfate are formed when the solution is kept standing undisturbed for a day. The fine crystals are taken on a dry filter paper which is then pressed to soak the remaining mother liquor. Hope you have enjoyed this video of crystallization of copper sulfate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.